Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to be unboxing a device called a mobile printing hub from Tico Imaging Systems. So, uh, what is it? What does it do? Well, the mobile printing hub attaches to any PCL printer that has a USB port, uh, and what it does is enables that printer uh, and upgrades it with AirPrint. Apple AirPrint capability, Wi-Fi Direct, NFC touch to print. So it, it basically brings uh, any PCL printer with a USB port becomes a state-of-the-art printer that can be used for um, remote and mobile printing as well. And there's two versions. Uh, this is the personal version and the enterprise version. Uh, it has built-in MS Office capabilities, where the personal version you only um, you have to send PDFs or JPEGs. So let's let's open it up and see what it looks like. There's two plastic dots here on either end. Shift a little bit, and it's um, in the box here, but not much to it. QR code on the top here, used for something, I'm sure. There's a standard USB port here, and a micro USB charging port, power supply port here. Those are the only two. There's a reset button on the bottom there. But these are the only two. Oh, also there's a WPS button on the top here. So allow you to connect to a uh, WPS network with a touch of a button. Wireless network. And it also has NFC tap to print, uh, which will allow you to um, you tap to print from your mobile device direct directly to whatever printer this is hooked up to. So it's pretty cool. Doesn't look like much, but it adds a lot of functionality too. If you if you already have a printer that doesn't have any features like this, it can't really be. Okay, so inside the box there's a USB. Char USB charger. A USB to micro USB power cable. Charging it up with this. Or not charging it up, or powering it up. These two things. And then there's a standard USB cable in here. This uh, this is for your PC, and this is plugs into the printer. Actually, actually, this is the plugs into the back of this, and the other end plugs into the USB port on the printer. That's basically it. Yeah. And then there's a one-page installation guide that shows you how to hook up the power and plug it into your printer. And um, there's some stuff before you begin. Uh, make sure the in indicator lights are on. And then inst inst install the and use the application for Apple and Android devices. So after, after we uh, get done with this video, we're going to take this and we're going to plug it into an Epson WF. 
7610 and 83 printer. It's a, only a couple years old, but it doesn't have any wireless or remote printing capabilities at all. Um, it, yeah, it has Wi Fi, but it, doesn't, it, it just doesn't play nice with um, uh, tablets and, and smartphones. And when we plug this into it, we should be able to access it far more easily using our tablets and smartphones. So that's it. Um, a second video will show what we needed to do uh, to, to install the application on our smartphone and get it up and running. So thanks for watching. So hooking up the mobile printing hub to the Epson workforce didn't work out as, as it planned. Um, mainly I feel it's because it was a network printer with Wi-Fi. And so I looked around and noticed that this printer, this is perfect, is more likely to be something that you would use a mobile printing hub on. This is an HP OfficeJet 100 mobile printer. It uses a PCL 3 GUI print driver. And it, it, as it stands, uh, the only way you can connect to it is uh, directly with USB cable or, or you can print via Bluetooth. Uh, but that makes it difficult uh, to do with smartphones and tablets. And, you know, it'd be way, way easier if it had actual Wi-Fi. So this is perfect for, for, this, for this product because it'll add all kinds of Wi-Fi features to it. All right, so this is how it gets hooked up. We have the um, two USB ports. This is supply to power, and this is a, uh, plugs into the back of the printer with the USB cable. Now the, the cables aren't real long. Yeah, three feet. So, I'm going to plug this into the back of the uh, Office Jam Mobile. And then into the USB port on the mobile printing hub. Now, this is the power adapter, you find a place to plug it in. It's connected via uh, another short and three foot USB cable. Okay, now I'm going to plug it in the back here. Supposed to wait until these two, and then let's 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 try turning on the printer. Okay, both lights are lit. It up. Put some media in there. Get a, get a print out of it. All right. Next, we got to go to the um, smartphone. And I have to juggle the lighting around here so you can see what's going on. Okay, now I'm going to this mobile printing hub and let's see what status looks like. Alright, now 
NFC has to be turned on in order to do this and it's under your settings screen turned on here so you gotta make sure that's turned on so let's do this again NFC now what you do with this is it wants you to tag tap, tap your phone on the top of the, the smartphone hub well, mobile printing hub and you, I, I just lay it on there and it um, it's now connected. So, you should be able to see it picked up the device information. It picked up that it's PCL3 GUI, which is correct for this printer. Beautiful. No. Basically, I can print something from here. All right, now that I opened up a PDF at the application. Now I should be able to print it. it wants me to tap it. Transmitting data, page one through six, over here. Job, job information, blank page. This is exactly what I was looking for. Cancel the job. Uh -huh. All right. That obviously didn't work. So back to the drawing board. Okay, let's see if we have any printers that we can hook this up to. Let's see. Oh, that looks like a good one. Uh, HP Deskjet 1010. USB only, doesn't have any wireless features whatsoever. So what do we need to do? Well, Plug in the USB cable. There is no cable that goes right here. Plug in the included USB cable from the mobile print hub. Plug the cable into the USB port on the mobile print hub. some paper in it. Okay, now the mobile print hub needs to be powered. And you have this 
USB power adapter and a fairly short cable. So we'll go plug this into the, an outlet and plug it into the mobile print hub. Okay, you see the blinking light there. I'm going to turn on the printer. And we'll establish communication. Okay, you see the second light light up. Okay, now that both lit lights are lit, it's ready to go. And now we go to the phone. Could be a tablet. I'm sure NFC is turned on. Find the mobile print hub application. Okay, and we'll go through the, the status and settings. And it wants you to connect to the device. And here's where you're prompted to use NFC or QR code. So with NFC, I just have to tap it against the device. And if you don't have NFC, you can use QR code. And there's a QR code reader built into the application. And you simply focus it over the QR code and once it gets focused it connects automatically all right now we're all set to go if we can look check device information now we'll see that it's saying an HP desk jet PCL3 GUI printer language and we can print a test page well, we can go back, go back to printing, and it opens up a file explorer. So we'll go back to printing again. Okay, Acrobat's got a test file. And the file is open. We can just click print to print a page. You can go into your print menu here and you can select a print range. And there's a six page document. You can select your paper size. Um, in this case, it's letter. Color mode, we'll leave it on color, but you can go color mono. Apply. I didn't notice any duplex or photo paper settings. Let's go back and look again. Paper size is A4 letter B5. And now if I want to print a document, I just click print. It's going to click. It's going to print all six pages. It wants me to connect again. Let's do it with the QR code. Stop. There we go. And now it's put in a document. Okay, so that's basically how you do it. It's really easy. The hardest part is plugging the thing into the wall. Uh, the only other thing we need to try is on a um, printer that has dual trays. We need to see whether it can select. Uh, we're going to hook it up to another printer and see whether or not you can select trays and say select photo paper. But that's it. It's really easy. It works great on this on this desk jet, and it's a good. Uh, 
Santa date because it doesn't have any features at all. It's a modern printer and basically it's just a printer. There's no wireless anything. So really easy. Prints just fine. And thanks for watching.